Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to unbox the brand new S60 smartwatch. As you can see in the first look, this really does look like the Huawei GT2 Pro and this is one of the copies that we found in the market. In today's video, we will unbox this S60, we will see what we have in the software and what we have similar to the Huawei GT2 Pro. Let's go ahead and start the unboxing. In reality, this watch doesn't compare at all with the GT2 Pro from Huawei, but the look is the same. That's why we bought it and see what we have from the, this copy of the Huawei GT2 Pro. In this watch, the S60, we have 1.3 inch display. We have full touch screen, different colors you can choose to buy in the outside look. We have waterproof and dustproof IP68 and we have 5.0 Bluetooth and other options that we will see in the inside. Also, we can make phone calls and a lot more options like we will see later. Here in the box, we have the charger itself, very simple, and the bands from rubber. Also, at the all the way at the bottom, we have the user manual with all the information that we need. So this is all that we have in the S60 package. As you can see in the outside look, it feels really cheap. Is It has the look and the wallpaper or the face of the Huawei, but it, it's not anywhere near the Huawei. You can see how laggy the system is. The theme is very old and it looks very cheap. You can see these are the options that we have in the taskbar, press and hold to change the watch faces. We have different ones here, we can download more in the app, we'll see the app in the next video. This uh, one is one another watch face that we have in the Huawei. We have here sport, sleep, measure heart rate training, phone, uh, measure blood pressure, blood oxygen, weather, shutter, player, others where we can find stopwatch, alarm, countdown, brightness, phone on, shake off, we have theater mode, reset, power off, and about also the app QR code that we can find in the user manual as well. And here we, here we have an old game that we played a lot, a, lo a long time ago, the floppy bird, but here it's called the young bird. Down we have the notifications, in the right we have the steps, hours and minutes of sleep, heart rate, exercises, phone calls, blood pressure, blood oxygen and weather. So these are just a few, uh, a quick way to go in, the, in these options uh, with the second button and the first button you will shut down the watch which is weird, probably because in other smartwatches with a lower button you enter the sport mode or another option. Let's go straight to the heart rate, press click and begin to measure our heart rate, see how long it will take to measure and if it will measure correctly. We have some results already, which is a good thing. And this is the final result that we will have here in the training we have exercise. We don't have anything else if you press it, which is weird. It says the play button. We have now walking, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, football, and swimming. This watch just keeps surprising me, which is a little bit weird. We have three second countdown. Now we can see the seconds at the top, steps, kilometers, burn calories, and we have blood pressure. This uh, is the first page and the main page. We don't have anything else. Let's go ahead in another step, which is phone calls. We will show you when we connect the uh, watch, how to make phone calls in this uh, watch. We have blood pressure now, which is started to measure immediately when you click. And let's wait for the results, see how it goes. So this is the result with the statistic at the middle of the screen, which is not too bad, but the theme is one thing that I noticed immediately. The software of this watch is a little bit uh, low and it's not that good like it should be. This watch is 
not so expensive so I didn't expect a lot from this watch but again for the price of it it's, it's working properly all the functions are working which again is worth to buy in case you want to have something like the GT2 Pro in the outside look not in the inside, in the inside though so guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device.